<laughs> Meetings downstairs today. They're not too strange most of the time. We're good? We're good? Hey, it's like an agenda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to start, George. We're on. We're behind you. The camera's on. Oh, Have yeah, a seat. We're on. We're on. Have a seat. Live on. Are you, are you presenting, sir? I didn't want to get out of here. You mean there's a storm out there? Are you presenting? We're live on television, George. Yeah. I can come in and talk to you. I don't care. Steve. You know what? I, I'll say anything. So, so welcome, everybody, to the Wednesday, February 20th, 2019 meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission of Wethersfield. Would the clerk help me with the roll call? Uh, Chairman Harley. I am here. Uh, clerk Roberts is here. Mr. Hughes. Nope. Mr. Reichel. Yes. Yes. Mr. Hammer, no. Mr. Homicki? Yes. Mr. Dean? Nope. Mr. Allard? Here. Mr. Silver? Here. Mr. Edwards? Here. Ms. Antoniak? No. All right. So if my math is accurate, there's seven of us here and everybody's participating. So the first item is 3.1 and application number 1704-10-Z. The town of Wethersfield is seeking a renewal of the site plan and design review for the replacement of the docks and the boat launch. At 533 Main. Welcome, Kathy. Would you describe what's going on? Sure. This is our ongoing project down at Cove Park. We've uh, been, it says the docks and the boat ramp. We've actually installed the docks in. We still call them the new docks, but they've been in now a couple of years. And now we um, recently got funding through a grant to actually build the boat ramp. All the plans and design and everything had been approved and went through a very complex process back in um, probably from 2008 till about 2012 when we got our state permit for from DEEP itself. So the plans have gone through everybody a few times as we've gone through the different processes to, um, as we got funding, we came back and got approvals to go forward with the projects. So this is a renewal of the existing plans that originally came to planning and zoning and also have been to um, the DEEP, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, and also the Army Corps of Engineers. So we're coming back tonight just to get a renewal because our permit is run out, but um, the plans are still the same ones that were uh, presented earlier. A few years ago. No changes. There are no changes. Yeah, I, so. any, I was going to say, any reason for the town uh, officials to have any different opinion? No, you have a memo for me which just kind of summarizes the history. This goes back to your approval back in <laughs> 2010, uh, as was mentioned by Carrie. We do extend how, how long? I mean, it'll, it'll have a whole other lifetime, uh, although I think. Um, they're hoping to uh, award the bid and get the work uh, underway within the next few months, if I understand that process correctly. So uh, it won't need the 10 years because it'll probably be finished by the end of this year, I would think. I would hope so. Yes. 10 years to go through all of it so far. It's a lot. It's, a lot, it's an expensive. What, what's the, what was the budget, Kathy, for this project? Uh, the budget is uh, $865,000, including yeah. design, um, design and construction. We got a grant for 765000 and we um, had to put a match up, and we've been saving the boating fees. So that was a $100,000 match. Great. Good. So does this complete the project? There's a phase this right will complete the project, yes. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll finally uh, have it all done. Other questions? No. I make a motion to approve. Oh, okay. Hang on a second, Rich. Rich yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep everybody here in a storm, but I, I thought there were some either recommendations or conditions we had on the original approval because, as I recall, there were questions about signage for conflicting traffic movements for the launching and the people driving through it. There were questions about handicap access and so forth and rather than beat the same horse to death again if somebody could look in the minutes and see what the conditions were at that time I think we'd want to have them again because I know we did have a conversation about um, you know how the 
policing of the parking was going to be because they're, you know, there are people driving multiple different directions in a smaller area than currently exists. And I, I do remember a couple of us having concerns about that, you know, because you have two possible access ways running across directly in front of the ramp. And the ramp is in the place in front of the warehouse where everybody drives across to go up the other street. And, you know, it, it's just unclear from this, you know, who's going where and where the parking is going to be. Kathy, do you recall if those got incorporated into any of the notes on the, in the site plans? Um, that, that was when we did come to planning and zoning and those questions did come up. We did respond to all of them and answer all of them. Um, and we do have a, a parking plan that we did submit uh, back then to planning and zoning. And we'll be looking at that as once the ramp is done, we're going to be looking at the signage and at the, um, the use of the ramp and on all of that control. We have uh, an attendant that's down there during the boating season. As, as a boater, a uh, long-time boater, been using ramps all over the state of Connecticut, uh, when you have an attendant, the people line up, and you take one boat at a time, the boat comes in, the person holds the boat, they go take their trailer back, and they go back into their boat. So it's usually a two-person operation, it's not a problem. You know, it's people, boaters are under understanding, and on uh, weekends, you wait in line. You're used to waiting in line to get out of the water and to get into the water. And it's amazing, you know which, you don't have to pull a card, you know which, when your time is up, you know, bring your boat in, et cetera. It's, it really shouldn't be a problem. I've never seen it in any of the... Uh, Should we so say that all those con original conditions... Yeah, I think it's probably as simple as that. So right? just yeah. just for the record, it, I, we, we may have discussed it at that meeting, but it didn't make it into the approval uh, letter. So I um, maybe you were satisfied with the answers and the commitment, um, but certainly I can go back and... Uh, see what the commitments were and we can work that into the you know a, a few signs aren't aren't going to kill the project so certainly we can um, but the activity levels down there Kathy maybe you can speak to this uh, more than I could you don't tend to when I've been down there watching people launch there it's one every there's, it, it doesn't tend to be a queue um, at least that I've observed unless you know, maybe on Saturday mornings or something like that. When I'm down there, it's it's usually the occasional uh, person, you know, putting their boat without a whole bunch of other. It's a queue for going both ways. In other words, people not only launching but you know coming out. Right. So right. you're going to have 15 boats waiting in the queue to come in, and there's never any problem. There's any, you yeah. don't know when they when their turn is, and they just do it. Yeah, I mean, I I'll, I'll believe you, but I mean, just looking at the public access plan, you have yep. two access ways each with two-way traffic you know going right in front of the launching ramp which is also being built over the place that people drive randomly so um. yeah the the park does get it gets busier on weekends during the weekdays it's 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 a lot less yeah unless you're fortunate to get out there on your boat but um but we've not you know to my knowledge, in all what we've done down there, we've not had problems, and we we took into account with with the lo re, the location moving a little bit closer to the new docks that um, we would have to watch it. We do have a plan in place as to how um, the traffic will come down, do the turn, and back down the ramp. So we have that all all set on our plan, and we will be putting the appropriate signage to make sure people follow that. So, under the circumstances, would you care to make a motion then? To, no, I think George next? already did. Okay, <laughs> to approve, right? Would you I'll want to offer? Yeah. Would you want to offer anything? Some words no. clarifying it? No. Okay. No, we've been reassured. It's important to reference the June thirtieth, two thousand and ten. A letter from Peter to Kathy about the approval without any other extensions on that, just as a reference point. Well, that expired. So we're making, we're, you know, we're going to generate a new letter. Exactly. That's 
over here. Right. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right. Have fun. Go well, build it. Thank you. I appreciate you having the meeting tonight to get to keep this moving forward. Of course. Good. Not a problem. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. One meeting down. Yeah, there you That's go. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're rapid fire in that. That's it. Staff reports. Go on to the anything to pass on? To the minutes. I do minutes or Minutes. George. Minutes. They're very good. I uh even though I had to read them at home, I didn't have a piece of paper in front of me, but that's all right. <laughs> They're fine. Well, where do you usually read them? Oh, my goodness. You had to read them digitally? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> all right, I'll They're second. Bad, all right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right. Anything? So George, uh, George did a perfect segue into uh, the, the only thing I wanted to uh, discuss with you is we, uh, as you obviously, as George mentioned, we sent the packages out electronically this time, except um, um, so wanted to see what the general thoughts. Uh, we have talked about this for a long time. We really haven't pulled the trigger. Um, so we are um, thinking about trying to, you know, segue into some sort of digital or electronic package rather than the um, traditional copies. Um, so wanted to just get a sense of your initial thoughts. We picked this one since it was a very small uh, agenda, didn't have a lot of documentation. So um, any uh, strong How do you send this stuff? No. Electronically. Big emails. Really? Yeah. And I can read it? Yeah, you can blow it up. You can zoom in on it. Yeah, it's a PDF. You can zoom it to whatever size you want. I think it's about time. Mm -hmm. happy to get it. We can certainly offer some training for those who might not yeah, be I'm as a, familiar. Um, I'm a Neanderthal. I'm yeah, I mean it's not that um, it's not that Tom Tom shouldn't be raising his hand, but uh, no, apparently he is. Um, I'm going to ask him where that bridge contract is this this year. They stop you from sending that out. No. I'm going to ask you privately, but I'm asking you now. <laughs> should be starting in the spring. It really. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. Oh, okay, great. Good. Glad to hear that. So I guess I'll, I'll speak. I mean, I mean, it was a surprise, and I didn't even know. I didn't read the email. So when they didn't well, that would show be a, up, that would be a good start. So I mean, I'm used <laughs> to getting it on Friday right. by email, and then uh, seeing it on my porch Monday. It didn't happen, and then I had to scramble. Okay. Um, I will learn a new way. It's not like I don't know they're there. It's certainly... You know. No, you don't. Have, you, we don't. You don't have to learn a new way. I really want to talk about, uh, you know, the pros and the cons of whether we do this or not. Um, this is easy. Okay. This is easy. Yeah. For me, it's easy, right? But so if we had communicated this ahead of time, we would have eliminated that particular, you know, no, un unawareness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So going forward, I mean, to George, I think this is what George is getting at. This is easy. Oh, no, right? I'm it just shows there. I opened yeah, it up. I really right? am. It, it took me. And I got help at home. Seconds. She's okay. very good at helping me. So, yeah. hey, so. And George, there are certain little programs that can yeah. be added to your computer that you can, when you do blow up the plan, you can mark them up and highlight something okay. that would then. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that I, mean, I, I do mark. The, the, the council has the iPads, but it's unlikely they're going to splurge and give you guys some additional hardware or whatever to, to do what they do. Um, so there is that issue where when you do come here, if you did mark up the plan, you would have to have, you know, some sort of a tablet or your, your phone or whatever. Um, the other part of this is that I don't know how, um, you know, if, if you wanted to, obviously the applicant will be here um, with their boards. And um, so we were trying to figure out whether there's also value in having electronically on the screen you know, the plans uh, for every application. Um, I'm not sure we want to go all that far for every single. This whole setup kind of creates a wall between, you know, the public and, and you yeah, folks. We're getting to more informal upfront uh, application or actions. And, uh, you know, you might not have a lot of material with mm -hmm. those. And, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. But. 
So we're gonna have to change how we, we can work. So we're gonna have to change how we do business. So. I've trouble reading. Yeah. If that's that's my question. Right. Reading some of the plans, as it is when the plans come in, uh, I you know I gotta struggle sometimes when I say you know to read mm -hmm. you know, certain details, and I'm not sure that I'm I don't have the capability of printing off map map size you know documents. So if I'm gonna do a PDF and eight and a half by eleven. It's going to be small. But you can, once we've given it to you in a PDF, you can blow it up, zoom in on it, look at all of that stuff. Um, it's, it's easier. It's a different, it's certainly I'm a different way. I'm not used to it. Yep. You know, I'm yep. used to putting a map on the table and looking at it. Right. Yeah, I mean, if we're sitting here talking about something right. and we have the big plan, yep. we, we can point rather right. than, well, let me see if I can find that email on we'll my find phone. We'll find it on my phone. Right? It's I mean, too small. And the, I, I reference the documents often mm -hmm. enough where in the future I'm going to need to bring a laptop. I mean, it's that simple. Yeah, because we, I can't do it on the phone. Because well, we are responsible for the plans, the approval of, of plans. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to think I'm, I'm responsibly, you know, reviewing, reviewing them. Stuff. Yep. Peter, the applicants will still are they still going to give you all the copies? So that's the that's the you know that's where the rubber hits the road. So we then have to decide if we're duplicating this effort by also having them give plant paper copies that you guys get at the meeting in addition to the electronic ones, which is, is kind of redundant, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. So, so, so that's why I was sort of talking about how we do that at these meetings when you're normally used to having plans that you can open up, um, <coughs> look at them, re refresh your memory about what you saw on the electronic version. So um, you know, this all has to be thought out further. Because I, I know like other towns that I've applied to for projects at work, we have to give them the PDF files yep. and the paper copies. Okay. Just simply so the PDF files can be exchanged before the meetings. Right. And avoids all the shipping, I guess it is. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is eliminate the paper, the paper delivery to um, you guys because it literally eats up a whole day on a Friday. You know, by the time everything gets assembled, the copies get made. Um, the plans get, you know, put into the packets. They then get driven around town. Um, and uh, Can we, an idea, um, an applicant pays for the plans, mm -hmm. the copies of the plans, X number of copies. Yep. Can you put a fee in, a delivery fee to, to pay somebody to, to actually uh, deliver so you don't have to do it? It's not the cost or the, it's just the man hours and, you know. If you like paper, you come pick them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want you guys to also, you know, I don't want to put the burden on you guys either. So we're just well, trying to figure out. You, you know, in, New York, in New York State, you have to give them the envelopes to the, some towns with postage mm. and our address and, you know, people on the committee's addresses on them. I mean, it's, it's a pretty extensive yeah. thing to do. It's, it's costly to the clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this, and this would, I mean, if we want all digital, it also saves the, the applicants a lot of money, which is another aspect of this as to you know who you want to who is this to benefit um the applicant or, or you guys or the community so, so just, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a staff it's a staff day yeah it, point, right? it's I, a I staff agree day every, every two weeks yes Mr. Chairman, i agree even if it's anything difficult we have to start because this is the future and we're going to start working with it so was there a statutory mandate of any type on hard copy release no no the statutes don't. They leave, they leave it up to the communities to uh, establish their own standards. And eight and a half by eleven makes sense. Eight and a half by sixteen makes sense. But I think when you have a larger yeah. submission, it's not too cumbersome for the applicant to give a full set of the larger blueprints. We might have some major projects come through, and it'd be tough to for I think all of us to spend that kind of time. Have you talked to your colleagues about how it's worked out elsewhere? I'm finding that some, and I, you know. Hard to believe that some um, commissions aren't as hands-on as other commissions. You know, they don't uh, get into all of the minutia. You know, they uh, some of them don't. You know, really look at. They rely on staff. They talk about it at the meetings. I'm just being honest with you. So, um, whereas you know, you guys are more hands-on and get into the level of detail um, that maybe some other towns, boards, and commissions don't uh, don't do. So it's not as um, it's not as if they think they're missing anything because they probably didn't do it, you know, in the first place. Um, I, I sense that with the church on the Berlin Turnpike. Okay, okay. 
Newington yep. really didn't seem to get yep. into it. I mean, I think the, I, the ideal thing here would be is if we did convert over to a digital that you guys would be given a, pa a tablet that you could then would be set up so you could bring it to the meeting. You could mark up the plans. You can look at them while they're making the presentations. You could have your notes incorporated into it so that if you're looking at it at home, you had a question, you could just, with your finger, write it on the tablet, which then gets incorporated into your copy of the plan. Um, but that's um, not something historically that um, management here has been willing to fund for you guys. Um, they're not that expensive well, anymore. It, they're not, but. Well, there's a difference. The town council and the board of education is all documents, papers. It's easy to put that on a, on a tablet, and you bring a tablet, and you're going through, and you're looking at contracts, or you're looking at you know, that type of thing. But when we're looking at plan, most of the, you know, the, the, your information, um, the fire marshal, uh, engineer, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's the plans I'm concerned about because I'm not going to be able to adequately, I'm concerned that I'm not going to be adequately be able to mm -hmm. examine the plans mm -hmm. to, to make a decision the way we've been making it unless I see the plans. And, mm -hmm. and so there is. it's just too small to... Uh, but even on paper that we get, they're too small sometimes. Well, so if it's even smaller, it's... It, yeah, oh yeah. Well, there's, so there's, the, there's that, and then there's also like a, like a studio review session that can happen where if the town or any other agency has any comments on something, we can see a digital copy of that with those comments in it instead of having to get... A separate letter that has a list of 20 comments there'd be those comments then you try to guess comments. where it is on the yeah. plan that they're so they would about. be there yeah. and yeah. it would be a live, you may live it. it's like in blue beam it's a live it's mm -hmm. called a studio review where we do that like for submissions or anything else and if you put a comment in everybody would see it and then maybe somebody gets a chance to address it if it's something that's critical prior to the meeting and then it can kind of expedite some of the discussion and then you get sued for violating FOI. So correct. Yeah. So I mean, you know, any chance to get sued, I'm I'm down for. It. Okay, so so you can, <laughs> you can come in tonight, right? Uh, the correspondence that went with this. Uh, yep. I don't have the letter that gave them the approval last time, right? I was looking over here because I thought you were going through that, that <clears throat> pile of documents. I don't have it. Okay, so it should have been in there. I don't know why Denise didn't scan it, but um, so. No, 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 I'm sure it's scanned. Oh. Yeah, I have it. It's scanned. Right. Were, were you expecting us to print all that? No, but I wanted you I to. I did. I print everything. Yeah. I, print. I, I didn't necessarily expect you guys to print anything. I just wanted you to look at it on your computer if you had your. Right, but, you, but I would not have remembered the date or reference yep. to it, that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's that's why I'm it. suggesting new. No. Yeah. I, I don't have, I really don't have a problem. Maybe there's a middle ground where. <clears throat> A set of plans if had would have to be delivered around. Mm, but, yeah, yeah. But this, if we had an iPad, and where I'm going to mm -hmm. go here is, yep. uh, I'm going to be embarrassed to be dra dragging my 12 year old laptop in here every time. Yeah, no, we wouldn't expect uh, that either. So, but it w but I would have to. Right. right? If we're going to go digital, we all need a reference here right. on the tabletop as you're doing something. Yep. Right? 12 years old, still working. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't do anything with it, you know. Um, he still has the mouse with the roller ball. You'll cough on it. Do you? <laughs> do you? Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, that was five, 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 yeah. Yeah. I work on a computer all day long. The last thing I do is <laughs> climb on my computer. He still has the mouse with the roller ball. the pace of doing So, so I, but is there a path where you know, the same fees that you're charging? So add a fee to the applicant. No, no need to make prints, right? Mm -hmm. But you'll you'll give us ten bucks, okay, or something like that, and then it's just a revolving account because someone's going to drop their laptop on on, on week three, right? And no, ideally, what I would well, the, the I, iPad. I, yeah, what I would expect is the town <clears throat> to equip you guys with a with a pad or tablet of some sort in order for this all to be consistent and um, you know have some built-in um, software so that you could mark up. The plans, save it, so you bring it to the meeting. So when you if they're making the presentation, you've written your comments or your questions right on the plan, um, or you've taken the memo and circled somebody's comment so that you want them to address that just to remind you. 
Um, I mean, it doesn't even have to be hours. It can just be something that's it's beyond me. secured to the just desk. Just get the phone and it stays here. Yeah, they do make that where you yeah, can have. Yeah, but you couldn't. Do, you wouldn't be able to do your George and I review you on. The, you would do your review at home. Yeah, you'd have to have a machine. This one. <laughs> but then it would be like live on some sort of collaborative software here. Yeah, I think that the, the technology difference between the members is such that. I'm just saying yeah. you'd only have to buy one set for the chamber and then you're done because like if you don't have a computer or something at home right you mean grow up. they're going to buy a, a laptop I, i'm not saying they are but in, in the in the perfect world mm -hmm. if everything being equal um they would ha we would have to be all be on the same the level yeah. I know they supposed to, but I didn't think they'd do it. You talked about it a few years ago. I, I th think you guys are more, as, as important as the Board of Ed and the town councilors. So, um, all right. So, and every first grader in town. There you go. That That's true. Uh, so let me let me do this, and I will uh, research this further and, and see how other communities are doing it, and then we'll come back again um, and discuss it further uh, to see if it has any uh, merit. We're just um, trying to see if we can come up with a more efficient way. Um, but you might be able to sell it to the applicants. At least those yeah, that are no. coming. I, I don't, I, we just don't have the, I can't take <clears throat> money in and put it in a pot. Right. The financial system here doesn't work that way. I could put it in a pot, give it to finance, and then maybe next year go back and say, look, last year we deposited you know, X, so we want to use that in this next budget cycle to fund you know, tablets or whatever it might be in software to help you guys. It just, I can't set up a, a revolving account to dip into to buy Rich you know, a tablet. You know, uh, nope, nope. Time gotta go awesome. paint Lucky Lose again. Right. The tablet <laughs> That's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Fix those potholes. Well, if that came to pass, yep. we could have a, you know, a Saturday morning or something, we could get together and learn how to use it. Oh yeah, definitely. That's, that's we'll go without saying, so we're all in the same page and uh you know if we ever got to that point we would wait a minute i'm not giving up a whole saturday because <laughs> george takes too long to figure it out <laughs> yeah. Peter, Peter. do you get pdfs of all the You're files from people now uh we do in in some cases we haven't uh flipped over to that uh requirement the design review i'll have to say works very i mean they're looking at you know facade drawings and sign drawings and things like that so it's not the level of complication like, you know that you guys you see from what i know any device you give us has to have the capabilities to carry large pdf files yeah you get drawings from contractors which are low budget pc pdfs and they're extremely big yeah yeah they don't flatten them and it's like you sit there like a some computers can't even open them. yeah no we would establish a standard that they'd have is, to submit is it them. possible to get a live site where we can the, count, the council posts their uh, agenda packets on the on the town website, and the councilors go there, and uh, okay. they have a special link just for the town because sometimes the information is um, some of it's confidential. So um, they have a password to get into an account, and um, so they've set it up in that way. So that could be the scenario. I just don't know, you know, if the level of uh, uh, storage uh, for you guys with the plans and all that kind of stuff is you know more. Uh, exceeds what their requirements are. We'd have to investigate that, but uh, that would probably be the likely. We would just post it in a place where you guys can access it. What's um, nice about PDFs is you can zoom in and like yeah. read. Yeah, know, the minutia. Down to nothing. Yeah, that's the great part of the PDF. You can really zoom in and then mark up what you're, you know. Mm -hmm. Whereas even these 11 by 17s are sometimes hard to hard to read at this uh, at this level. So. Yeah. I, was I wasn't speaking for myself. <laughs> okay, so we wanted to float that uh, just to see what the thoughts were and there's some good thoughts uh, and some issues raised that we'll, we'll uh, investigate further. But we would like to go to that kind of a system at some point. We've been kind of beating around the bush about it and uh, we'd like to um, think about getting more serious. And maybe if we did that, there still might be occasion on a big project, if the board and you know comes in again, and you've got a big roll of plans, we just you know would have to deliver. In certain cases, there you know there could be exceptions uh, to that, but um, but I think you know we all have to be on the same technological level and all have the same abilities. So 
um, that might be the that, that's that's really the issue I think so yeah, I mean and, and if we're still asking the applicants to deliver a fixed number of things if somebody really wants them you know they can make the effort of coming in and getting them and right going to the beach for the weekend and yep eating the plans mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sad uh, scenario. Oh, it's going to rain on the weekends. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the details on the March uh, event were on side two. So that was not in the PDF. The, which details? There was a... Um, like time? It's all the time? Yeah, more info on back. Oh, nothing on back. <laughs> wow. So you've got an original. All right, so it's the 71st annual. It's Thursday, March 28th. I find that really hard to believe. Yeah, maybe they doubled or tripled up a couple of years. That's a long time. Um, Fourth week of the month, though. That's unusual. So on the back page that you did not get is the, was the program, the, you know, the minor details. So social hour uh, registration starts at 5. 6 o'clock is dinner. Uh, anyone want to know what's for dinner? Uh, pa Penne, New York strip, vegetable, potato, dessert. Uh, 715 awards presentation. There's, so there's the 12-year length of service. We haven't really looked at if anyone qualifies. Uh, 12 years. And then there's the... I didn't look at it, so... You didn't get it, so... Oh, no, uh, that's what he's saying. So there's the 12-year award, and then there's the Lifetime Achievement Awards. And the topic this year, which starts at 8 p.m., is enforcement of the zoning regulations, maintaining authority and ethical considerations. The principal speaker is John Filchak, the executive director of the Northeastern Connecticut Council of Governments. Um, Going to talk about, there was some talk at the state about uh, making it more difficult for towns to uh, enforce the zoning regulations and the whole treble damages and some of that stuff. So he was going to talk about maybe something else that's brewing as well. Um, so we're going to investigate whether anyone qualifies for the either the 12 year or the lifetime. Um, I don't know, Joe, did Joe ever get a? Uh, I don't know if Joe got a lifetime. He might. Anyway, we're gonna we'll look into that How and long see if is anyone. A lifetime here? Yeah, I think it's 25. 25. Or is it number of meetings? <laughs> <laughs> So in his defense, it used to be every single week when I started. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. But I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't know. He might be around 20. And it's, so it's a Thursday night, March 28th. So um, just let us know if, uh, well, we'll check first to see if anyone's uh, award worthy. And then uh, anyone who might uh, want to go. It's usually an interesting night. So. Uh, yeah, I bet Tom Dean's getting close. No, seriously. Yeah, you might be. Yeah. yeah, so we'll check and then let everybody know. And then once we determine that, you guys can decide. And uh, we'll, the town will uh, cover the um, cover the co cover the costs. So, okay. Yeah. Drink, drinks are on the award recipient. That's mm -hmm. how it works. That sounds like a fair rule to yeah. me. Okay. Let's go member. find one. George, you just one member of the commission. So we do have two pending applications for the next meeting. Uh, we have a uh, just a one lot resubdivision that's down in the um, back off the back lane subdivision. Um, they and didn't solve that piece of. The, they did. They did finally, sidewalk. but they still. If, you're, if you remember, they gave up one of the. They combined the lot yeah. in it for the meantime. So now they've acquired the house, okay. and they're going back and trying to clean all that up. So they got to go back through that process. And so it. Put the sidewalk where they were supposed to put the sidewalk. We are having that conversation. Uh, so you'll be able to ask him that question at the next meeting. And then um, we've got an application for a restaurant to uh, move into uh, the um, 161 Main Street, the former Blades building, which at one point was a restaurant back many years ago. Um, yeah, so um, that is um, on the agenda. They went to HDC the other night, uh, so that is uh, gearing up for your next meeting as well. They didn't tear it down or threaten to tear it down? Nope. Well, can you start something there, George? The building is not in good shape. Well, not good Anything else? That's it. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second? Second. Second. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. <coughs> I will not be here next time. A recent record, anyway. As far as I know, yeah. 
I'll be down on the beach reading poems.